In this video, we're going to explore how to support students from EALD backgrounds using Universal Design for Learning. ACARA defines for Australian teachers who students from an EALD background are within their schools. Now let's have a look at the elements of the Universal Design for Learning framework that would be useful for supporting students to access the content descriptions, especially for students from an EALD background. Before we think about how we support our student from an EALD background to access the Australian curriculum, let's have a look at an example from the Australian curriculum content descriptions in year six Australian curriculum science. To do this, we need to first define all the cognitive verbs and key terminology to ensure that the curriculum is accessible for all learners. If I had a student from a Spanish background who was new to my class, I would follow this following process to support them to access the Australian curriculum year six science content descriptions. I would first read the following text on deforestation aloud to the class. I would then translate the text on deforestation to Spanish and have immersive reader or some other form of technology read the Spanish to the class. I would then read the text aloud to the students again in English. This time when I read aloud the deforestation text to the class, I highlight the nouns, verbs and objects, different colors. This is functional grammar. This supports all the learners to understand where the language features with, fit within the text. Now that we've highlighted all the nouns, verbs, and objects, different colors within the text, we read aloud the text again to the class, this time highlighting the key terminology. For example, deforestation, farm, ranches, or urban use, and tropical rainforest. Now we read aloud the text again, this time focusing on the term deforestation. I might ask the class if anyone knows what deforestation is. I pretend like I don't. If no one in the class knows what deforestation means, we could bring up Google Images, put the word into Google Images and have a look at the images so we can come up with an idea of what we mean by deforestation. We would then follow the same process, having the text read to us in Spanish using technology. We'd also look at images of deforestation in Spanish using Google images. I would now read aloud the text again in English to the class. After we read through the text, we start the process of using the text and the images to create a Freya model in English. We would also follow the same process in Spanish, creating a Freya model in Spanish. Both completed Freya models would then be put on the classroom wall or sent to the student's laptop so they can refer to it on a later basis.
Now let's come back to the Australian Curriculum Version 9 content description from Year 6 Science. Students investigate the physical conditions of a habitat and analyze how the growth and survival of living things is affected by changing physical conditions. Once again, we define all the cognitive verbs and key terminology to ensure that the content descriptions that are being taught are accessible for all learners. Before the teacher starts modeling out the content descriptions for the students, the teacher reads aloud the text on deforestation again aloud to the students in English and they look at the images and the Freya model that they have created. This process is also followed by having the technology read aloud the text in Spanish to the class as well as looking at the images of deforestation and the Freya model. The teacher and the students look at the text on deforestation, the images and the Freya model and have a talk about what are the physical conditions they see in the rainforest. These are added to the scaffolded table. Notice at the top of the table where I have the headings. They are also supplemented by Spanish to support our students to access the learning process. The teacher and the students then read through the text on deforestation aloud in English. The technology reads aloud the text in Spanish again. The students and the teacher look at the images of deforestation and they also look at the Freya models that are being created. Then collaboratively, the teacher and the students analyze the effects of deforestation on the growth and survival of animals within the rainforest. This is done by creating two mind maps, one on the effect on the growth of animals within the rainforest and one mind map on the survival of animals within the rainforest. The students and the teacher then connect um, lines between the two mind maps where there are connections between the information. The students and the teacher then create a Venn diagram of the similarities and differences of the growth and survival of animals caused by deforestation. This is modeling out the process of analysis in the Australian curriculum content descriptions as determined by the definition in the glossaries. Thank you for watching our video on how to support students from EALD backgrounds using the Universal Design for Learning Framework and the Australian Curriculum.